Welcome back to the show. We saved the best for last this morning. The glue that holds the morning show together, our own anchor, Tanya Bach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Well, um, Chris is busy with his forecast over there this morning, so I asked you to join us. And, um, you know, I didn't realize that you haven't had turkey very much in your life, and uh, one of the first experiences with it was when you had a fried turkey. So here is an oven-roasted turkey. Now, I made this one in a roaster, one of those portable roasters, so I could start it at home and then bring it in here when mm. I came in. Plus, I knew the oven was going to be in use by at different temperatures and whatnot. So... Um, there's so many different ways that you can make a turkey. Um, one of the careful things that you need to do when you're using a roaster or an oven is to make sure you're continuously basting it or it's going to dry out. Oh. And um, uh, as you know, when we used the fryer, Chef Anthony was really good about it. He injected in the seasonings mm -hmm. with it. So, like, you had those juices and stuff. So, yeah. um, you can inject your turkey ahead of time. This particular one I did not. I am using a Chef Anthony specialty this morning. We made compound butter about six months ago and I decided to use because you need you need like a butter based with it and and then you add seasoning to it mm -hmm. I added um, um, some poultry seasoning that I'd made um, there's different herbs and stuff that uh, we rolled into the compound butter if you want to learn how to make compound butter look it up on our website just search for chef Anthony and compound butter and you'll find the video and directions on how to make that so basically once my turkey was completely thawed out I rubbed this compound butter mixture all over it and I sprinkled it with poultry seasoning and these are just like just um, like parsley herbs and stuff like that oh. so it'll be it'll be super yummy yes. and and then you um, you put it in your roaster and for I first I covered it with foil I put foil mm -hmm. over it just to kind of keep the keep the juices within whatnot and cooked it on for 350 for an hour and a half then I took the foil off and then I started basting it. I'd saved half of my butter base mixture and I put some more of that on there and I took some of the juices from the bottom of the pan and then put those on top mm. too. So I kept doing that until like the, but you, um, I've, at that point I've kind of contaminated with my spoon the butter mixture. So the mm. last 30 minutes, you don't want to use any of that butter based anymore. Make sure that's done with in the last 30 minutes. And then, but you can continue to base with the stuff from the bottom of the pan. That's mm. been cooked through. Yeah. So kept juices on it the entire time. You want to make sure it gets up to 180 degrees. That's very important. Um, I'm going to dig into this. I want you to share with me any turkey experiences you have had before it while I cut into what it. What have I had? I, I spent a few Thanksgiving Thanksgivings with my teammates when I was at MSSU. Um, and then with this Finnish lady who now lives in, in the U.S. So she knows how to cook a turkey as well. <laughs> so that's basically all, all the experiences I've had. And yeah, of course with Chef Anthony, the one I, I did at um, the fire station. It is never my job to carve a turkey. I'm the worst tur <laughs> tur turkey carver. Here, move your napkin a little bit. Oh. I want you to try that. Whoa. This is the breast meat on the top, of course. You've got mm -hmm. your dark meat on the legs and thighs and your wings. It um, smells so good. Mm. How'd I do? It's good. It's good. Probably really, really hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not too hot. Yeah, Did it does okay? have flavor. Mm -hmm. Good flavor? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's just saying that to be nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will have all the recipes that we've shared throughout this morning on our website later this morning, kwmnewsnow.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We will be right back.